Yo, 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 what up? We're back in Modern here on Just For Fun channel, but we're playing in Terminant Turn tournament practice room today because we're playing gifts which is a little this hand doesn't really do anything uh, I'm on the play though so I'm gonna keep um did I hit mulligan I don't think I did I think I hit keep anyway this hand is better so that worked out <laughs> um yeah so we're gonna play in the tournament practice room because we're playing a more competitive deck at least on our scale of things opponent's got the word twin in his name so maybe he's playing twin which is actually not a bad matchup especially post board um, because we have a ton of counter spells and removal which is basically what you want against that deck um, here I want to make sure I hit my land drops so I'm going to just play out wall um, since I have the verdict I want godless shrine and then let's play that hopefully this doesn't get spell snared that would suck. We can also path our wall if next necessary to get another land drop. <laughs> you know, assuming it goes through here. Oh, it goes through. Great. Show me a land. Nice. All right, perfect. So now we can Esper Charm and draw two if we want. We've got a few different ways to deal with creatures. Um, we're at 16 already. And we don't know whether this is Delver or Twin for sure, so it's kind of tempting to uh, play it tapped and play it slow, but I don't want to waste too many turns, give up too much tempo. You know, because I'd really like to land this Esper Charm if possible, but no, it doesn't look like that's going to work here. He's obviously got a counter up, so. Now I think we just pass. Play a tap land, pass back, and wait. You know, we can play the waiting game here pretty well, okay. Eat a bolt, fine. And if at any point he taps out, or taps the blue at least, we can Esper Charm. Okay, we we have gifts here. That's nice. Really like a counter spell before I go for it, but. I think against that deck I would name... Oh! So maybe this is blue-white-red control. So maybe against that deck I name... I get Iona and I name white? That yeah, could be a thing. All right, I'm going to go for Esper Charm here because if I either w if it gets countered, it's fine. If um if it goes through, I draw two cards. If it gets countered, I get to untap and cast gifts. Oh, nice. And I get to pave the way with this Inquisition here. Maybe getting rid of another... Ooh. Verdict, okay. Yes, yeah, so here... Uh, yep. 
I Iona and name white. I th I'm doing it now just in case he draws a, a counter spell in his draw step. So this is bad in some senses because I'm tipping my my game plan. Tipping him off on my plan, but then again, if he doesn't have an answer, I just win. I mean, I guess he could race me with burn. That's a thing. Gideon. Oh, I see. So now after I attack him with that, if I attack him with the Iona, he can kill it. And he can make me attack it. So that's that's clever. Didn't even think of that. Okay, so... Okay. Well, at least it'll slow him down a little bit. I guess I could have waited. He probably wouldn't have just played that then. Yep. Souls was a great draw. Okay, so I have to attack Gideon with that. Okay. Um so now he can untap or you know hit t his turn minus Gideon kill the Iona and then supreme verdict but I still can flash back the other soul so that's kind of cool Here comes the verdict. Yep. Yeah, I'm sorry guys. Sorry I didn't see the Gideon line here. Haven't played against that card since it was in standard a million years ago. Um, okay. We've got these bricks sitting in our hand. I mean, at least the the go for the throat and path are a way to kill the colonnade. Gideon is kind of a huge pain in the ass. verdicts anyway I not really sure I see the wisdom in that because there's no way those could have raced the Gideon so conclave is good can't kill Gideon with that I mean he can't kill that with Gideon excuse me bolt me it's a little weird when you saw me just play the conclave
no attack with colonnade. Mana leak, okay. So yeah, this conclave. It's minus zero. Why doesn't he just kill me with this? Oh. Oh, okay. Because now it's vulnerable to removal. I think I lead on path uh, in case of spell pierce. Manalik, okay. We got to follow that up with go for the throat, and now, uh, now colonnade is a big problem. Plus, he could potentially counter this too. Nope. All right. So, my path leaks. He looks me. Yep. Verdict, which is totally useless. I mean, I know I could keep this back to block, but I mean, this makes me dead to burn, but I'm kind of okay with that. Because I'm kind of dead to that anyway, you know? Maybe he holds back the colonnade in fear of more removal spells. Yep. Okay. Nice. Okay, well, I'm not going to attack into it now. Oh, I shouldn't have tapped on oh, my black. That was dumb. Now I can't flash it back in the same turn. He looks me, okay. Sphinx's rev is sweet. Would be good in this deck. I wonder if it's still ten billion tickets. Okay, colonnade. feel really dumb about the uh... Ooh, I guess I could have blocked with everything and took it out but then if he had path or something I lose everything so that's probably the safer play I guess oh another colonnade jeez watery grave is not exactly what I want to see
Yeah, I'm not really going to be able to race here, so maybe this is dumb. I should be just playing for attrition, you know? Then again, I'm dead to a burn spell. I'm dead to so many things here. Horn off the top would be hilarious. Oh yeah, he could just kill my conclave with that tech edge. I didn't even think of that. the block. He can still tech edge my guy, my, my colonnade, excuse me, my conclave, which he should do. Yeah, I'm just dead here. Okay, so control mirrors are kind of frustrating. Now, I should probably board out the combo. Um, he might board out his Supreme Verdict, but he might not because of um, Lingering Souls, because You know, we don't want gifts here. Um, yeah, what I was wondering is if these firewalkers would be good just as additional threats that he can't cast a burn spell against. Well, Omen seems pretty bad, so. Alright, we'll play one wall of Omens. Or maybe one gifts. Miser's gifts here. Yeah, let's give let's give it a try this way. I'm kind of like figuring it out as I go here. So that Gideon was a whooping man. If it, if I had seen that beforehand, I could have planned something different. <laughs> like getting Grave Titan into play would have been better. No, it wouldn't have because he had the Supreme Verdict. So it was kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. Um, this seems bad. Although maybe I can get in some early aggression here. I just gotta watch that I don't get um, get this killed by Snapcaster. Hollow Fountain. We don't want to play the souls into verdict if he still has the verdict. Although having two souls definitely makes that a lot easier. Here I can just fetch basic. Play Firewalker and pass. So he could have Snappy here. So I'm not going to attack into that. And I'm going to fetch Swamp. Play Lingering Souls. If that gets countered, then I can attack. Okay. Which 
which is always good when you get that countered, you know, aside from remand, because then, you know, they're countering half a spell, so you kind of up half a card. <sighs> of course, I don't want to start a serious match and I end up in a control mirror. <laughs> it happens every time, right? Try to land Jace, but it seems pretty obvious to me that he's got a counter spell. Um, so what we'll do here is we'll flash back our souls, see if he counters the other half. Nope. Um, and I do have go for the throat if he has Snapcaster here, so I guess I will attack. Might be better to save it for one of those colonnades. I don't know, I think we're not in the worst position. Uh, electrolyze would be a bit annoying. But if he taps out for that, we can land our Jace. I think I would go straight to plus, just maybe keep plussing, <laughs> which seems counterintuitive, um, you know, but if I can get one of his walkers or something, you know, all right, he kept the verdicts in, so that settles that discussion, here I can get, uh, I don't think it matters, I'll get a watery grave, we can already cast everything, more or less, except for that. <laughs> Um, okay, so I guess we'll land the, the Jace here, or do I play Souls and Flesh it back? Maybe I do that. Let's try that first. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's try that first. Now he's got to like tap out to deal with this if, if he wants to. If he has another verdict or whatever, he might not. Okay, we're hitting some land drops here, which is always nice. Okay, here I'm going to do nothing and wait for him to make a move. I mean, Jace, I could try to race it up to an ultimate, or I could just minus it for value. It's kind of like a better, you know, divination kind of effect, you know. It's kind of drawing three. Even if I minus it and then he sends a burn spell and kills it, it's like drawing three. Because I've drawn two cards and then... Um, you know, the uh, card he uses to get rid of it. Okay, so is he gonna flash back his verdict here? Okay. That's cool, because that gets rid of the Snapcaster itself. I mean, I guess his backup plan is Colonnade. Yep, fetch. Verdict, okay. It's interesting that he kept the verdicts in, but obviously, I get. I mean, they are good against lingering souls. So. Oh, that was a really nice draw. Back up, Jace. Here, I'm gonna minus him. All right. 
right. And I think I'm going to take the the lands. that gets me closer to where I can hard cast Iona. If I can do that before he gets that freaking Gideon down, I have a chance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If he animates Colony to kill Jace, we can go for its throat. You know, it's more likely he'll just throw a lightning bolt at it or something like that, but maybe not. Hmm? Okay. This having Vigilance is really annoying. This card is insane. I wish I could afford those. That's what would be in here uh, instead of the Conclaves. Conclaves are very mana efficient though, which is nice. Let's see if that worked. Now he could tap out to, to counter this, but... Yep. Alright. Well, we knew there was a chance of that, but... We have a backup Jace for just this situation. Ooh, and an Esper Charm. Okay, so here I'm gonna Jace and Minus. on burial rights. <sighs> what do we take here? How does he split it here? I think it's pretty clear we want the rights in case he deals with our Iona somehow. Yeah. Yeah, Mana Leak is pretty bad at this point, so... Um, alright. So I could Esper Charm myself and discard those two at the end of his turn. But I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight land. So I could just you know, try to hard cast it first and then have the rights two tries at rights as a backup. Okay, colonnade. Maybe I Esper Charm draw two. Hmm, I could chump his con his colonnade here, but no, nah, I wanna. That's fine. The Jace has bought me a lot of time, and that's really what the goal of them was. So they did their job. Let's see if he taps out here to counter. He's thinking, which makes me think he has a counter. card is really sweet. Ooh, path. Nice. Path and land. Wow. That worked out. OK. 
counter that. Reman my path. That's great. Hardcast Iona on white. I mean, I guess if he has Cryptic Command Bounce, but I mean, or he could attack with this and hope I block and then bolt it or something like that. But while well, I'm tapped out here. kind of a short window for him to deal with it. But if he just puts it in the graveyard, that's not going to be the end of the world, so... <laughs> because I can... Unburial rights... I have two shots at unburial rights in it. Okay, what do we got going here? Cryptic Bounce, wow. Okay. Okay, um... Three cards in his hand. Do we take another shot at this? Yeah, I think we do. If it gets countered, I got on burial rights. What is this? Sphinx's Rev? No, logic not. Okay. Fair enough. He's, he's got about a billion counters. <laughs> we still have a lot of good draws here. And... You know, um... We still have these two conclaves. If he taps out, we can poke him. Got a lot of mana. Sphinx is rev for a bunch. For three, okay. I'm tapped out here. I probably would have. Oh, well, he knows he needs to keep a counter up for for unburial rights. Um, so let's try it. What do you got, bud? If you're into control mirrors, I suppose this is probably pretty interesting for you. If you're not, you're probably like, oh, why is nobody attacking? <laughs> Alright, opponent is deep in thought here. Trying to figure out maybe what order to play his counter spells in if he has more than one. Which counter spell to play, whether to even bother or not. If he can answer a resolved Iona. Counter flux, which can't be countered, okay. 
Um, and then I flash it back. Wait. Um, I don't think mana leak is really good enough here that keeping it open is going to matter. But maybe it bluffs another counter spell of some kind, so. I don't know. That was p possibly wrong, but I don't. It doesn't. Maybe it doesn't change his clock. Electrolyze me. Okay. Another firewalker would be would be cute. Snapcaster. Okay. On on what? Electrolyze again or Oop. Okay. Alright, I guess. I guess that's game. So I kind of like how I boarded there. Um, didn't see anything that makes me want to really change my plan here. So I'm just going to submit. Yep, this seems like a good, really good hand. Sort of more like destruct, like an aggro control hand. <laughs> um, let's not hit Mulligan by mistake. Let's keep. We do need a second white for Firewalker, but that's it's not in a rush. And burial rights. That's cute. All right. Boik pass. Maybe annoy my opponent into submission. Opponent also only has six minutes left. So I'm ahead of him on the clock. If I play quickly here, maybe that could be beneficial. Okay. Alright. I could go for a souls here, but he obviously has a counter spell, so maybe I'll just do nothing. Maybe I can remand something and draw hit my next land drop. Nope. Or we could just hit it anyway, which is kind of cute. That's going to find a hollowed fountain. Mm. Do I care about that at all? No, I don't think I do. That's fine. Oh, yeah, that's kind of poopy. But there's not really much I can do about that. Ok, 
Okay, nice. It's not a white source, which is what we really need, but it's okay. Snapcaster. Um Yeah. Helix. Maybe I reman the Helix, but then if he lands that freaking Gideon thing, I'm in trouble. I don't know here. Uh, I don't know. I really need to hit more lands, so I better reman this. Uh, Umbrial rights. It's not a land. Okay, um, let's play the souls. <sighs> Cryptic. Okay. He's quickened his pace quite a bit, seeing the clock tick down. By the way, this timing system should be adopted in Paper Magic, and I think if it if it was, I'd be way more likely to play Paper Magic. Dispel is kind of too little, too late here. Flashback that. Okay. Discard a card. Uh, I guess I'll discard one of these. What is this? Electrolyze? Um, no. <sighs> okay. Can't do anything about that. But at least uh, we're not getting attacked by colonnade, so... Jace minus, I'm dead. Jace plus, I'm almost dead. Pretty dead here, either any which way. And I don't even think I can stall him enough on time. I'm just two bolts away from getting killed at this point. It's possible I punted this whole game, but... I think I just didn't have much of a chance to begin with. Position, okay. Helix me. Uh, I'm just dead here. If I counter the helix, um, 
then I have nobody to block with. And he can just animate the colonnade and kill me. Um, well, I guess I can do this. And, ooh, Snapcaster, okay. And I can bluff a path here, I guess. Oh, but he has counterflux anyway. So I'm just dead. Wow, that was pretty cool. GG's. Okay. Alright. That uh, was pretty close. Alright, I hope that was interesting to watch. It was interesting to play. It's pretty likely that I punted that, that, that last game there, but you know, uh, all in all, I think the deck did okay. Uh, it was certainly competitive against a, a top-tier deck, so um, there's something to this.